They aren't planning to put the first Israeli on the moon, but they do want to plant the country's flag there and transmit pictures back home. Along the way, they want to inspire the next generation of Israelis to pursue science and technology and show the world Israel's tech abilities. The landing is by far the most difficult part. Yonatan Weintraub is one of the three young founders of Space IL, a non-profit organization trying to get to the moon as part of the Lunar X competition by Google, which will pay $20 million to the first team to land a spacecraft on the lunar surface. But Space IL is just as concerned about the process as the prize. It's also an educational uh, beacon for the ki today's kids. Today's kids don't, don't think about, uh, they want to uh, learn science and, and technology, they, they think about reality TV. We want to take the spotlight from that and put it on technology and science because this is what, what drives the future and, we, and this excites kids. A true size mock-up of the spacecraft was unveiled to the public at a ceremony at Israel Aerospace Industries near Tel Aviv. Rona Ramon, whose astronaut husband Elon died in the crash of the ill-fated Columbia space shuttle eight years ago, said he would have been inspired by the program. Uh, the Space IL is definitely part of uh, Elon's spirit and uh, uh, heritage because he really believed in education and how space can inspire uh, the young scientists to continue with uh, open their horizon and their uh, thoughts. Israel's an expert in microsatellites and Space IL is hoping to use this expertise to get to the moon. The six-sided device is about the size and color of a washing machine and they hope to complete it for about $15 million, a budget NASA would regard as petty cash. Only the United States and former Soviet Union have touched down on the lunar surface. Israel is competing against 25 teams from around the world, including contestants with NASA affiliations. But Israel is a space power in its own right, and in the club of just a few nations that have put satellites into orbit. Israel is, even today, one of the seven or eight countries in the world that uh, know and have the heritage in developing, designing, building, launching and operating satellites. So this will bring Israel to between the US and Russia, it means to the top three leaders in the world in the space, which I believe says everything. President Shimon Peres is an avid promoter of Israeli high tech and asked by the media line why it was important for Israel to go to the moon, he answered. Well, they want us to go back to the West Bank or the land is small, we don't have natural resources, the population is growing. The only way for us to answer the growth of our people, the com world competition, is in the scientific and technological domain. The spaceship is small, and that is its greatest virtue. We are by far the smallest spaceship ever to land on the moon. We are so small that we can piggyback on a commercial satellite to get to hitchhike our way to space. Now once we are in space, we are, we are on our own. We need to land there by ourselves. So if all goes according to plan, by the year 2014, we'll see the Israeli flag on the moon. This is Ariel O'Sullivan reporting for the Media Line.